Now, the proper way to sell something, and I'm going to get hit in the head, is I got the head, and I didn't do that. I immediately grabbed my shoulder because it jolted me so bad, it sent one of the major stingers down my arm. You know, I couldn't even properly sell. Rem keep that in mind, you know. Uh, you can't properly sell something that hurts too much. And if I can, uh, you know, as good as Japan was to me, it used to drive me crazy to see that culture that was in some ways the antithesis of what we were supposed to do. Because they would hit each other as hard as they could and then act like they weren't getting hit hard. And they would want me to do that. And I wasn't beyond, I mean, I did some pretty wicked stuff while I was there. And I remember there was a night, you know, at the, the infamous Kawasaki Dream that became better known as the King of the Deathmatch Tournament. And man, I, there was a bed of nails, a real bed of nails. And I put it on Shoji Nakamaki, and I stood out there in the ring apron, and I thought to myself, all right, you can take care of a human being lying underneath that bed of nails, or you can make this look good. And I made the conscious decision to make that look good. <laughs> and I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that when he was screaming for pain for real, if I didn't get a little satisfaction out of it. <laughs> but that was a tough thing for me. That wasn't naturally a you know, a mean person or even an aggressive person. I had to find a way to do that, you know, and I had to get my mind right, and I had to gear up and you know, almost transform in a way to do those type of things. Um, 